Hi, my name is Stephen Haas, and this is episode one of my prosthetic hand project. I'm a junior at the University of Connecticut studying mechanical engineering and computer science engineering, and I applied for a grant this summer to build a prosthetic hand. When I was at Maker Faire last year, I saw the company Enable, and they build 3D printed prosthetic hands for kids that don't have any fingers, but they just have a palm. So when they bend their palm forward, the 3D printed fingers articulate and they're able to grab stuff. And I thought it was really cool, but it doesn't really work for people that have an amputation mid-forearm or higher, it only is for people that don't have fingers. So I was wondering if maybe there was a way I could do this. I did a little bit of research, found out about the grant university offers called the Idea Grant, applied, got it, and this summer I'm using money Yukon's giving me to build a prosthetic hand. So this is the first episode of a series of episodes where I develop the hand, show you guys how I'm building it, what my thought process is, how I'm designing the whole thing, and in the end have a finished product. So in this episode I'm going to show you how I built this. Version 1 of the Atlas hand. So version 1 has dental bands on the back that cause the fingers to return back to their original position and there are some control lines in the bottom that when you pull on them they cause they're on the front side of the finger and they cause the finger to articulate forward and it's able to pick stuff up um, it's pretty versatile it doesn't do nearly what I want it to and this is not at all the final version this is a very quick and dirty prototype that I made just to figure out how I want to build it but I'm going to show you guys how I built it Alright, so I just got this uh, package in the mail from Adafruit, and it looks like it's got some of the stuff I've ordered. So this is lithium ion batteries. So this is going to be part of what powers the prosthetic. So this is a 660 milliamp hour battery at 3.7 volts. So this can pull an amp for 6.6 .6 hours at 3.7 volts, which is huge. I think it's, it's got three cells in it. And I got two of those. So these will actually be put in series and then I'm gonna use the center point between the two batteries as ground and I'll have a positive five volts and a negative five volts to run the EMG board. These are power boosts. And these, what I'm gonna use these for is stepping the 3.7 volts of the batteries up to five volts so that I can use it to power the Arduino and run the servo. And I got two of those for each battery. And then it looks like here I've got, oh, these are force resistive uh, um, pressure pads. And I got five of those. So this is for each finger. Um, underneath each finger, I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is design a little pad that'll push down. And when it feels a certain degree of force, which is gonna be a certain amount of resistance, um, it'll know to stop squeezing. So yeah, so that's my haul from Adafruit. Looks like this is going to be pretty good. All this was only like, I'm not sure. This in total was 134, 134 bucks. All right, I got a new box. This one's from SparkFun, and I'm pretty sure, I right, use my keys for this, and I'm pretty sure this is my EMG sensor board. So we're gonna open this on up here. Come on, come on. All righty, some very professional packing here. All right, so here is the Advanced Technologies. Yep, this is the EMG board. So this is what's gonna sense the um, signals in the muscle that'll control it. That's awesome, that's really tiny. That was a lot smaller than I was expecting. And then here's the cable that's gonna, this plugs into the board. And then on the end of these, these three sensors go to these biomedical tags. And then these have a little sticky adhesive on one end and then those go together and then that goes on the spots in your arm. Cool, so this is what's gonna power the whole thing. It's gonna be the whole control system.